Hello dear traders, my name is Petko Alexander from EA Forex Academy and I am the head trader. Today we have uploaded in YouTube a free version of our top 5 Forex strategies course and in this version you will be able to learn 2 out of the 5 strategies for free and as well you will see how I am trading with the expert advisors of these strategies which I have included in the course. As well, you will see how I diversify the risk between five different currencies and five different strategies. This way, I diversify the risk and achieve more stable results. So I'm not depending on one currency pair to trade and one strategy. I diversify between five currencies and five strategies as well i have decided to make the full course available to everyone who wants to learn trading that's why i have uploaded it in udemy below in the description of the course you will see a coupon code that discounts the course with 95 percent so instead of 200 euro you can enroll to the full version of the course for 9.99 so if you go to Udemy, you can see that during the last one year, more than 12,500 students have joined my courses and this makes me extremely happy. And in my profile, you can find so far 19 courses for Forex and cryptocurrency trading. So here is the course top five Forex strategies from a professional trader. If I click on it, you can see that already 2000 students enrolled. I am very, very happy that so many students are joining my courses and I really hope that you will enjoy this course as well. Have a great time with the course. Hello dear traders, my name is Petko Alexandrov and I'm a professional trader. In this course I will share with you my top 5 forex strategies that I have created during the years and I will provide you with the expert advisors. Nowadays there is so much information about the forex market, about technical analysis, fundamental analysis, patterns candlesticks and so much theory that people get frustrated and don't know from where to start. So in this course I have decided to share with my students the top 5 forex strategies that I have been trading on euro dollar, the pound dollar, dollar yen, pound yen and euro pound. This way by trading on 5 different currencies I diversify the risk and I achieve more stable results because I don't rely on a single strategy. The way I have been doing it, I have created hundreds of strategies during the years and I select only the best ones to trade on a real account. After that, I test these best strategies on a real account with the minimum quantity allowed of 0.01 lot size and after testing on real account I place them on bigger life accounts. And for this course I have selected the best top 5 strategies. On this chart you can see how they kicked off with amazing result last year and since this time I have been updating the expert advisors every month so the students can trade with the parameters that are suitable for the most recent market conditions. I will teach you how to place the expert advisors in MetaTrader and how to update them every month when I launch the new expert advisors. Welcome one more time to the course and if you have any questions, let me know. Hello dear traders. I'm very happy to welcome you to the top 5 course. In this course I will teach you how to use my best strategies for trading on the forex markets. You can use these strategies manually on every platform and you can use them automatically on MetaTrader. When I say top 5 probably you're thinking that there are other strategies 
And you're right, there are other strategies, actually hundreds of them. And that answers my next question, how I do it. During the years, I have developed hundreds of strategies. And for this course, I have selected the five top best strategies. Also, I will teach you how to diversify your risk between the different strategies, between the different currencies and between the different time frames. And of course, you will have the choice manual or automated trading. In the videos, I will teach you how to use these strategies manually, but also you have the choice to trade automatically. And this will come very easy to you because my bonus for this course is that actually I will give you the five robots, the five expert advisors for these strategies. You don't need to have any IT skills. I will give you the five robots for free and I will explain you how to place them on the MetaTrader if you don't have experience with that. Plus, I will show you the best parameters I'm using so far for these strategies. And I have discovered these parameters by a professional software that provides me the ability to test, optimize and generate the best inputs for each strategy. The software provides me a very accurate backtest that I cannot have on MetaTrader. Also, I have the ability to see on the chart where were the trades executed, why they were executed and that helped me to define the best input. But you don't need to do it because I have already done it. Hello dear traders, today is 17th of January 2017 and I will start with my first strategy on M1 chart. You need to have on your screen also M30 chart and H1 chart. The idea here is to follow the bigger movement, the bigger trend of the day or for example the morning session as for example today good movement in the cable up and we execute trades on M1 but we follow the bigger trend on M30 and H1 chart as confirmation. So for H1 you need to place one indicator, it's the MACD indicator, moving average convergence divergence and I will use the standard parameters of 12, 26 and 9. For M30 chart you need to place also the MACD indicator with the standard inputs but also you need to place two moving averages to create the so-called MA crossover indicator but most of the platforms don't provide it so if you don't have the MA crossover simply you put two simple moving averages and for that we need to place one with period of six and this will be our faster line I will put a red color for it and I need to place one more simple moving average with period of 13 for this moving average I will use orange color so I know that the hotter line is the faster one and the brighter one is the slower one and on M1 chart you need to place RSI indicator this is our trigger indicator and I will use very surprisingly for you probably I will use 60 with smoothing period and not the standard 14 and also I need to have the 50 line in the middle you don't need the overbought and oversold levels but you can keep one of them just to have an idea when the market is overbought or oversold and I will need also to have one more moving average here and this will be with period of 5. You can pick up any color you'd like but I will put an also red color because it's a fast moving average and I use simple moving average again. So I have on H1 chart the MACD indicator with the standard inputs on M30 I have the MACD indicator with the standard inputs and two simple moving averages with periods of 6 and 13 and on M1 chart where we execute the trades you need RSI indicator with the 50 line and 
smoothing period of 60 plus you need a simple moving average with period of 5. For each strategy also you will receive papers for all the parameters and charts you need to have on your screen. For this strategy I call it RSI1. I use based on the cable GBPUSD. Of course if you like the strategy you can try it for other pairs as well. It works there. And surprisingly here I use stop loss of 75 pips and take profit of 25 pips. I know a lot of people will say this is crazy because there is no risk reward ratio and risk reward sense at all but believe me with this stop loss and take profit you will be hitting your take profit much more often than your stop loss and you will end up making some money. It's also possible to up to the position. I will explain in the next video more about it but if you have the same signal just up to the position and if you have the opposite signal you just reverse it. Once again here the parameters on H1 are the standard MACD with 12.26.9, M30 MACD again plus two moving averages of 6 and 13 and on M1 chart you need to use moving average 5 and RSI 50 line plus the 60 smoothing period. Hello again dear traders, we continue with the execution of RSI 1 system and after you have your setup done you're ready to trade. So what we will look now is what happened this morning and you will see how I execute the trades on this system with this strategy. On H1 chart you need to look for confirmation to trade short or long when you have the cross of MACD. For that reason I will place one horizontal line on the place where we had that confirmation and that happened yesterday 16th of January at 11 o'clock. Since this time we have confirmation to trade long. We need to have the same confirmation on M30 chart so I will place another horizontal line but be careful here sorry I will place a vertical line and uh, be careful here you need to Put your confirmation line after MACD crossed and after the moving averages has crossed. So I will place it right here, 4 o'clock this morning. And after this time I had the confirmation to trade long. Since I am trading after a London Stock Exchange opens and this is 10 o'clock my time what you need to look is for the trades after 10 o'clock of course you if you trade automatically or if you trade overnight you can trade anytime after you have this confirmation from h1 and m30 but what i'm doing i'm trading only after the london opening and i will look where is it it's right here at 10 o'clock you see there is a lot of volatility and the first entries came about 40 minutes the market was open and you can see the first signal is right here at 10.49 what is the signal? the signal is when RSI crosses the 50 line plus in the same time you need to have the price crossing the 5 moving average so I will place here one vertical line and I will place a horizontal line Make sure to place it always one candle later because RSI is a repeating indicator and most of the time you will see RSI crossing and if the price continues down this cross would never have happened and you need to place your trade always after you're sure that the cross is real so I will place it one candle later and I will place a horizontal line on the moment I enter it's right here at 10.49 and the price is 121.20 for 121.20 I will have take profit for 25 pips higher and this is 121.45 and also I will make it green so I know this is the take profit line and your stop loss is 70 pips down, no need to place it at this moment. 
You see now that my take profit was hit about half an hour later and also as I've mentioned in the previous video you can add to your position. If you see a signal again and I have this signal right here 1110 you can add to your position so I can have one more entry at 1110 where I have again price crossing the 5 moving average and I have the RSI crossing the 50 line. Of course, your stop loss and take profit should be accordingly the latest entry. But at this example, it is exactly at the same price or one or two pips higher, I guess. So basically, I don't need to move my stop loss and take profit. I will use the same for the two entries. You can add as many times as you wish to your position, but I recommend no more than three times adding to the position. And if you have the opposite signal, what means opposite signal is that you will have a reverse of the MACD, you will have a sell signal on H1, you will have sell signal on M30 plus the moving average crossing and you will have the RSI 50 crossing plus you will have the price crossing the 5 moving average and this is considered to be a reverse signal and then you need to reverse your position. Hello dear traders, we continue with a strategy called Ichimoku plus CCI and we apply this strategy on M15 chart and we use it so far based on Euro GBP. So for the setup you need the Ichimoku indicator and I will place it on the chart. As you know Ichimoku is usually used with the parameters of 9, 26 and 52 but now I will use 10. 30 and 60 so I basically round the numbers the 10 can send is the basic line where we enter so I will make it more visible and I will use the pink color and here is the Ichimoku as you know as basic the Ichimoku cloud works as support and resistance so basically we go short under the Ichimoku cloud and we go long above the Ichimoku cloud and in this strategy we will keep this rule and we will enter in the pink line called tank and sand and also I will need to place three times the CCI indicator so the first time I will place the periods of 10 we don't need the lines of 100 and minus 100 but I will just keep them and I will place it one more time with the parameter of 60 and also I will place it third time with the parameter of 80. So you need three times the CCI indicator with 10, 60 and 80. With the paper that you will receive you will see that Ichimoku plus CCI strategy I use it with stop loss of 70 and take profit of 80 pips. It's also possible to add to the position with this strategy. As I said, we use it best on Euro GBP. The parameters M15 chart with the Ichimoku using 10, 30, and 60, and three times CCI. The condition for the entries is that CCI needs to rise on 10, 60, and 80 period. Hello again, dear traders. We continue with the execution of the strategy Ichimoku plus CCI. Uh, let's have a look at some examples. If you look from this long move from yesterday, we had a couple of entries for the strategy. As we already said, we go short when we are below the cloud and we go long when we are above the cloud. So here, the first time that the price crosses the Tenken Sand line is right here and we we'll wait for the next candle to open. But as you can see here, at this moment, the CCI 10 is already showing up so we don't enter here and the next entry is over here at the price of 85.49 and here we have the price crossing the 10 can send down and at this moment on the opening of the next bar the three CCI's are showing down. So let's place the take profit line and this will be at 69 and I will make it also green so we can see that our this is our take profit and let's have a look where is that 
Oh, actually the price went so close to the take profit and then reversed up. This happens quite often in the forex market. It's a personal choice if you will leave it and never touch it or you will adjust and you will close it manually. What I like to do if I'm in front of the screen, if I see that the price is going close below 10 pips to the take profit, I close it manually. I don't want because of couple of pips to lose the whole profit as for this example. But of course, for this you need to be in front of your screen and if you see that the price is going really really close, you can close it a little bit earlier to make sure this never happens. But it happens, it will always happen, it's up to you if you're in front of the screen to close the position or not. If not, it's very possible that the price will continue down and will hit your take profit but it's also possible that the price will reverse and go up and you will lose the whole profit that you did. Let's look also at some more examples. Right here we have one more entry short. Actually, if we enter here, as you can see right here, we are below the cloud. The price is crossing the 10 can sign and as I can see, the CCIs are showing down. So right here, this is the price of 85.75 so obviously our take profit would be higher and it would be hit so here we have one more entry and also here is the other entry it's up to you if you will add to the position as I always recommend no more than three times let's look also at some bad example right here we see that the price is above the cloud so we are looking for long entries and here the price is crossing the 10 can sign and if we enter at this price of 0.8626 actually we would lose with this trade but I am not sure at this moment the CCI is showing up we wait the opening of this bar and as I can see the CCI 10 is showing down it's really hard at this moment to say at this moment at the opening of the bar where was showing the CCI since it's a repainting indicator but anyway if you enter at this position and you have your stop loss 70 pips lower what you need to do if you have an opposite signal right here you need to close the long trade and open a short trade because if you keep your stop loss of 70 pips you will have a, obviously a lose of 70 pips and if you reverse it you will have here just a loss of 50 pips and you will enter in the right direction down. So instead of losing 70 pips, you will lose 50 pips and you will win another profitable trade with 80 profit. And if you add to the position, it will be 160. Or if you add three times in this example, you will have a profit more than 200 pips. So very important, if you enter and the price reverses, it, when you have the opposite signal, just close your losing one and enter in the right direction. Hello dear traders, in this video I'm about to show you how you can place your expert advisors on the MetaTrader platform. But before I do that, I'd like to share with you some secrets about the brokers and their servers. If you're planning to trade with the expert advisors on real accounts, make sure you test them first on a demo account. The suggested period for testing on demo account is between 3 and 6 months. After that you can test the expert advisors on a real account. And what I suggest my students always is to test with the minimum traded quantity of 0.01 lot size. When you start testing on the real account with the minimum lot size, continue testing on another platform with the demo account. In this way you will see if your broker provides you same data for demo and real account. The other important thing is if you'd like to do back tests for the expert advisors with any software, you're using the data from the same server that you will use for the real account. And the last thing, I don't suggest using MetaTrader for backtesting and optimizing. I don't want to discuss why there is so much information in internet about the negative and positive things of MetaTrader so you can find a lot about it. But I just suggest you don't lose your time with that. 
what you can do the best you can place your expert advisors you can place your indicators on the charts and find the best parameters for you in this course i have given to you the best parameters i'm using so far the beginning of 2017 but in couple of months i always review and do the so-called fine tuning for the parameters and i define which parameters work the best for the strategy and also i'm using a professional software to optimize and backtest and once again not the meta trader with the course you will receive the five expert advisors what you need to do you need to copy them and place them on MetaTrader. So after you copy them from the folder, you need to go to File, Open Data Folder, then you need to go to MQL4 and then to Exports. Place the files over there and close the folder. Go to Export Advisors and click Refresh. This is the way they will compile and you will have your Export Advisors for the MetaTrader. It might take you several seconds to compile after you're ready you're ready to go make sure your auto trading button is on you can see there are numbers before the name of the strategy and i use these numbers to place the magic numbers what is a magic number it's a identification number for each strategy and you can use on many platforms now online to make your analysis at the end of the day the week or the month so for this first strategy I'm using 10.01.30.60.N1 This is just my own code that I'm using to remember which pair I'm using and what filters I'm using 10 identificates the pair euro dollar 01 identificates that I'm using this strategy on M1 chart 30 and 60 is that I'm using 30 minutes and H1 chart for filters and one that this is the first version for the strategy for the next strategy for example the Ichimoku plus the 3 CCI strategy 1 2 identificates that I'm using this strategy on Euro GBP I'm using it on 15 minute chart and 10 because this is the 10th version of the strategy for the RSI I'm using 20 0 1 30 and 60 because 20 identificates GBP dollar or the cable 01 I use it on M1 chart using the 30 and the 60 minutes as filter and this is the first modification of the strategy you can have any code but when you create hundreds of strategies it's better to have a code that you can understand from the number what time frames you're using on which pair you're using it and which modification of the strategy you're using at the moment so after you have your strategy compiled and after you have your auto trading button on you're ready to go the first strategy I'm placing on Eurodawa M1 chart. What you need to do is just drag the strategy on the platform. Here are the common settings and here are the inputs. The inputs are very easy to follow. The first one is the amount for a new position, the maximum position amount, the amount to add to the position. So if you keep the settings this way, the first time it will open, it will open with 0 0.01 lot size and then on the next signal it will add and it will add one more time because the maximum position is 0 0.03 you can change that but as i always suggest don't add more than three times on the position the stop loss and the take profit is the next break even if you want to use the bollinger bands parameters are over here the suggested one from me at the moment the moving average crossover on M30, the MACD on M30 and H1 chart. And this is the magic number. At this place, I am changing it to 10, 0, 1, 30, 60, and 1. I would like also to write a log file and I click true. And then when I click OK, the expert advisor is ready to trade. After that, let's go to the cable. I'm using here the RSI 1 strategy so you can also click twice on it instead of dragging it i would like to change only the magic number to 2013061 and i'd like to have also log files and then i will click ok and then i will go to dollar yen and for the dollar yen i'm using the video one strategy i will change also here the magic number with 3013061 
and I would like to have log files written also and I click OK. The other two strategies, the Ichimoku and 3CCI and the strategy of Bollinger Bands plus RSI, I am using these strategies on a higher time frame. So Ichimoku I am using on 15 minute chart for Euro GBP. So let's place the Euro GBP on our chart and I'd like to have a chart window new one on M15 chart and you can force MetaTrader to load more data by pressing the home key and it will load you more data. Make sure you have a lot of data because the expert advisor sometimes need more bars to calculate the parameters of the indicators and the Ichimoku plus the 3 CCI strategy I'm using on M15 chart I place it and I will change the magic number to 12, 15 and 10 and I will press OK. So this strategy is running as well. For the last one, the GBPN, I'm using it on M5 chart. Let's find where is the GBPN. It's over here. So I will place it on the chart and I will select M5 as a trading chart. I will load also some data by pressing the home key and after you're ready by pressing the end button or this button over here you go back to the present and i will drag this strategy on the chart so let's change here also the magic number 23051 when you click ok you're ready to go now you have your five strategies running on three different time frames and running on five different pairs this is very important guys because you don't want to place all the risk over one currency over one strategy. Finally, I'd like to say that the best thing you can do is to learn the strategies trading them manually and in the same time you can test the expert advisors on a demo account. After you learn the strategies trading manually, you will see and you will find better inputs with the time better parameters and probably better combinations between time frames and currencies and if you prefer any of the strategy more than the other you can try using it on other pairs with different parameters hello dear traders my name is petko alexander from ea forex academy in this video I would like to show you how actually we are updating the course and what you need to look at after you receive an email for the update. Basically we are changing the resources so as well we are changing the expert advisors with the new inputs inside that we changed and as well as you know for each strategy for example if I click on the strategy 2 there is the resources this is the powerpoint that you are having and after you open it you will see that there is change on some of the parameters so for this strategy with video one we have changed the stop loss and the take profit a little bit of bigger stop loss over here and we have changed as well the video on a much higher period Alright, so you need to look at the parameters that are underlined and these are the ones that you need to change. So if you have already bought this course and you need to change it now, what you can do, you can go to your trading platform and then you need to click on Expert Advisor, Properties and here are all the inputs for this robot all right so what you need to do is just to change the ones that are underlined in the document all right so let's have a change on one of these so you can see so i will go now to the course and i will look what are the changes on the cable this is the rsi strategy and this is actually our first strategy all right so over here is the new document and as you can see we have changed there the AMA crossover and we have changed as well the moving average on M1 chart. So what I will do, I will go and change the moving average on M1 to 25. Alright, so I'm going to the trading platform. So here I am changing the moving average to 25. Alright, from 5 
to 25. The other thing I had to change, this is the moving average crossover. Let's look at it again. It's 2 and 32. So as previously, we had 6 and 13. So now it's 2 and 32. Let me check it one more time. 2 and 32, all right? So after that, when you click on OK, the changes are saved and you have the new parameters running on this expert advisor. As you can see in the current moment, we have huge volatility on the market. There are no any important economic news at the moment. It happens, as you know, all the time. At the moment, I changed the cable parameters and I don't have any open positions. As you can see on the other, there are some open positions over there. And few of the students actually ask me when we need to do the change of the parameters. It's up to you. You can wait when there is no open positions for the market or you can do it over the weekend. It's not that important, of course. What we are doing with these updates is just the way that we are maintaining these strategies, these robots to the current market conditions. So, for example, with the pound yen, there is no any change that we did. All the parameters are the same. So in the file is written no changes. So, you know, again, guys, it's up to you whether you will change it or not, whether you will keep the same inputs that you used till the moment. If you like them, of course, it's great. If you found better ones that work better for you, that's even awesome. All right. And the other way, what you can do is you can actually download the new expert advisors. They are in section 713 lecture, as you know. If you download them and put them over your charts again, they are updated with the new inputs. So basically, these are the two options you can do. Have a wonderful day, guys. Wish you safe trading. Cheers. Bye. Hello, dear traders. In this video, I'd like to show you the results that I achieved during the last three days since I placed on my last video the expert advisors. And as you can see, I have a result of $62, which is about 600 pips with trading 0 0.01 lot size. So from the account history, I will take a detailed statement. Here you can see all the transactions that were made, all the orders and the final result of 62. You can see also that the profit line is pretty stable. It's going upwards. There was a little bit of falling in the beginning from in the first day, but then it went just upwards. This is during actually a very volatile week. As you can see in the calendar, we have the rate decision today in Great Britain. Also, we had a forms meeting. We had the rate decision also in the States yesterday, plus the rate decision in Japan. Actually, we had President Drag speaking when I placed the expert advisors. So I wanted to show the results during three days and during such fundamental important news. It's actually a personal choice whether you will pause your expert advisors. What I mean pause them is that you can actually stop them before dry speech, for example. And after the market is calm, you can start the trading again. So I cannot suggest you whether to do it or not to do it. During this week, I didn't do it. So the expert advisors were running 24 hours for the last three days because I wanted to show the real results if I'm not pausing it. Probably if I was pausing them during these important events, I could have achieved a better result. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with this result as well. And I'm pretty happy that the strategies I launched in this course and I showed you in this course reach such a great result. To have a better view on the result of the strategies, I'm using this website fxblue.com. I'm not related with any of the websites I'm showing or the brokers, so I'm just using them to have a better stat. And as you can see, this is one of my accounts here, but if you want to register a new account, you can go to FX Blue Life and then you click on register here. It's free actually 
and as you can see from here you can choose your broker which broker you're using then you type your account number and then you type your read only password this is your investor password that you get when you create your demo or real account so i already registered the account that i'm using for the five strategies and this is 730356 and then i will just log in to see the statistics that we have and here basically you can see the weekly return that is expected the monthly return expected your profit factor we can see here that we have only three days of history your equity your balance and imagine guys this is only with 0.01 lot size when i'm trading ten thousand dollar account i'm trading it with 0.1 lot size so if i traded it 0.1 lot size that would be 620 dollars and then if you go to strategy you can have a look to the five strategies and here are the magic numbers which we entered in the previous video when placing them in MetaTrader and this helps this website to track all the information over here and you can have a better view so if you click net profit it will place your strategies according to the best one and the last one will be the worst one so guys this is the power of using portfolio of strategies you can see here that one is losing about 70 pips but the other four are making profit during this time and this is very normal in forex that one strategy will fail in a certain period of time and when you have another strategies in the same time trading simultaneously then you will have this strategy losing but the other four winning and as you will see with the time this is really powerful tool to use more than one strategy more than one expert advisor so that you diversify your risk and if one is losing then the others will be winning so let's have a look a little bit more detailed on this as you can see the first strategy did really great this is the euro gbp strategy using on 15 minute chart you can see we had six trades they have made profit of 42 and they didn't have any loss the next one made 30 trades the next one 12 and so on and if you go here actually a little bit right you can see the net profit pips you can see the total lost pips and the total win pips so the net pips here were 342 and then 193 109 36 and minus 75 pips this is really really great result for three days and actually here you have a lot of more details about the average loss pips about the lots traded the average loss traded actually here is 0.01 because we fixed it so and we have a lot of more information you can have also view the hourly how they behaved hourly on each hour during the day and if with the time you see that during some hours certain strategy didn't make well you can close this strategy during these hours and same for the day and same for the week so let's have a look here actually with the day how many pips we did each day and as you can see with net pips over here that the first day we did minus 122 pips and then we had 338 pips and today we had 391 pips of total profit and totally we can see this if we go to weekly so we will have all together and you can see that the total profit was 607 pips this is really really nice result for three days and we are trading with five expert advisors as i have said we diversify our risk in this way and uh, if one is losing the others will be winning during this time once again i suggest you test your expert advisors first on demo account then you test them on real account with 0.01 lot size so this way you filter them and then you use only your best expert advisors on a bigger accounts with real money this takes time guys but this will really bring you on the profitable side it's a lot of work sometimes to create all these strategies and expert advisors but now with this course 
you have them just you need to test them and if you're happy with the results go and trade all right so this was the free version of the top five forex strategies course if you're interested to enroll into the complete premium course and get the five expert advisors you can enroll by using the discounted coupon that you see below into the description and get it for $9.99 so as you can see Udemy makes discounts all the time but with this coupon you will be able to get the lowest price possible so if I enter top 5 long U and I click on apply you can see that the course discounts with 95% down to 10 euro and I update the expert advisors every month according to the recent market conditions so once you enrolled into the course you will receive the updates for lifetime and you will not need to pay any extra cost about it thank you guys for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me cheers